morning from the farm everybody see some clouds coming in the girls have been down come on auntie auntie all she wants is her herself to be scratched constantly I don't know if you remember auntie but she um, she's the one that keeps mothering all the other calves so Here's, here they all are, the Motley crew. If you saw the post I did just about five minutes ago. Hey, Kevin and Maggie, can you just tell me if you can hear me? Because the other day I did a video and there was no sound. Um, so here they all are. Getting ready to go into the dairy. I've been away for oh, about nearly just under a week. So I thought I'd jump on. I don't even know where Rosie is, but I can tell you, thank you. Um, when I came in this morning, the first thing I did was went and looked for Rosie. If you all remember, Rosie was the little orphan calf. See so yeah, how the calves all congregate. And there was no Rosie anywhere. So, hey, Sandy. So, um, I'm pretty excited, which means she's out here somewhere. And I don't know, there's one of the little ones getting a bit of a wash up before we head down to the dairy. You can see there's um, very little feed in these paddocks, anyone that's noticing that, because um, we had a lot of rain, so we moved the girls down, because I've got all this, um, I've put in fresh, we put in crops a few months, oh, about a, three weeks ago. So we moved the girls down here last night just with some hay give them a chance to grow mums and bubs that's bobby because of her tail when people used to chop tails off cows can you imagine as if you haven't done enough to them let's chop their tails off so they can't swat flies away it's just a cracker all right so when i came here about like 15 minutes ago seriously they were all just passed out i actually couldn't see any cows on the farm at all so i was like oh my god where's all my cows <laughs> hi little one the only reason they're moving this morning and we're moving away from me is because this little partner in crime. There's Gigi. Yeah, and there's Auntie who's just going to hang back there. Auntie, come on. Auntie. She'll just go on ahead and come on, quick, let's go. Oh, yeah. It's a long walk, isn't it? So we're just going to head on down to the dairy. It's been really hot here. Hi, Bronnie. When I got home um, yesterday, oh, I love this time of the day. You see all the mums and bubs all having a little, little special time together. See that? <laughs> yeah, why don't you just drain mummy? No, they don't. They're gorgeous. Hey, Freya. Um, yeah, when I got home last night, uh, it was 30 degrees at midnight last night. So... I was glad to see all the girls just laying down this morning. I'm sure uh, it cooled down at about two or three o'clock. So, come on, up we go. Come on, coffee. Nice little coffee. <laughs> this is one of my older cows. She's a great mum. start calling out to mum. Freya, how you doing Bubba? So as we start moving around, all the cows, all the calves, all the cows, they'll just start calling out to each other. Make sure they partner up because as they get a bit older, you'll notice that the, come on off you go darlings, you'll notice that the calves, um, they'll all be sleeping together. They only come back to mum for food. 
Come on, off we go. Off we go. Come on, off you go, Bronny. So anyway, I just thought I'd pop back out into the paddock, let you all see. There's, there's two of the biggest calves. They are well and truly due to be weaned. Yeah, almost as big as mum. So those mums, um, they come into the dairy and for a while we kind of accept that um, there's not a lot of milk on them, naturally. But um, then, we, then, then we start the weaning process because <laughs> they get very skilled, don't you all? Come on, off you go. Come on. Hi, little one. Is that Bertha? Is it Bertha? Go on. Where are you? It is Bertha. Hi, baby. Come on, we've got to go. All right, so Happy New Year, everybody. From how now? Um, I just thought I'd quickly say Happy New Year to you all. Thank you all for your ongoing support of everything that I do. As I always say, it's um, none of it's possible without you guys around. So um, it's going to be, they're saying that we're going to have a really wet summer, but uh, it's pretty dry up here at the moment. So I imagine that there's still going to need to be water that's purchased and more feed because I don't grow enough for the girls I just I don't have that skill really so <laughs> until I've got more kind of um, money from farming then it then you can get somebody in who kind of manages all that to you happy new year to you as well Sandy and thank you all for your ongoing support of how now uh, the cheese is still going strong we've still got um, the Persian feta uh, possibly also because I ended up um, two of the markets that I was going to attend before Christmas I didn't attend so they were just too really really too hot so um, there is still Persian feta available for I'm guessing until it runs out but other than that um, business as usual for us hopefully a nice big year for how now I'm going to flick it around so you can see them they're all just sitting there staring so they don't move they're like, yeah, they've got my vibe, seriously. That's how I feel today. But while I'm standing here talking to you, all of you, the cows just <laughs> slowly, slowly head in the direction. So we leave all the gates open down the bottom there. They're in two paddocks at the moment. So there's a gate down there and a gate there. Because on these incredibly hot days, as you can see, um, I'll turn it around this way for you all. Oh, you're coming over to say hello to Gigi. It's brave of you, Coffee. So, as you can see, when we turn around this way, like traditional farms, there's not a tree. Well, the trees are all on the perimeter. So once the sun gets right up, there's no shade, which I just hate. So, all that laneway that goes all the way along there is where all the shade comes, so it throws that way. And so the girls will all go out there in the heat of the day and just sit under the trees. And um, we'll put some feed out there for them if we need to. And then they get this beautiful cool breeze on this farm, which is the one thing that's uh, kind of a saving grace, possibly because, you know, it's the Amsterdam of Australia. So I haven't spotted I haven't spotted Rosie yet, but when I find her, I will do a post for you all. So you can see Rosie. You're calling your baby. That's, that's one of the new mums. Now, I think I've shown you all this before, but for anyone that didn't see it. Hey, Harriet. Anyone that hasn't seen it. So this is Candy down here. There she is. Candy. So... Candy is one of the, there's two cows, Candy and Mia, and named after my daughter, <laughs> who have been the first two calves that have gone through the system. So she was born into the How Now system, raised by her mum, and then through, you know, just moving around in a paddock with mates, with Mia being one of her mates. I can't spot her at the moment. And now... Go. Look at you, 
we buy cows, you don't always know what they're in calf to. So there's a couple of beefies. You're one of them. All right. Hey, beautiful girls. They're more interested in Gigi than they are with me. All right, people. I better go and do some work. So thank you for all your support. And here's to a really great 2022. I'm hoping it's going to be a more awareness about kindness in the in our industry and some growth in the sector that I'm in. So more and more people start asking for dairy that uh, that addresses all the issues that are currently there: the separation of the calf at birth, the slaughter of five-day-old calves, and the 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 large herds treating them the animals like they're actually. A manufacturing machine and they're not they've got feelings they've got em- they've got emotions they can be happy and sad they can be hurt they can be upset they also can sulk I can bear witness to that so um, but that's the way they are and they repay me in spades so I'm hoping for a really fantastic year ahead thanks everyone I'll talk to you all very very soon oops bye